it's very clear that there is a, a complicity while calling for investigations into war crimes by the British parliamentarians and the other political leaders in the international community. They promote projects that intimidate and persecute the, vic the witnesses of war crimes. When you decide to deport, it is a measure of intimidating the witnesses. Not only that, it's a measure of totally underestimating the ongoing and continuous violations of human rights of the Tamil people in the Tamil homeland. So this has to be really brought to the fore. We have 15 minutes for questions and answer answers. We would welcome six questions and I would kindly request you to be brief and also specify the panelists uh, to whom you are referring the question. Uh, if you do not specify, I will request uh, one of the panelists. One of the panelists can volunteer and we can start the questions and answer session now. Maximum six questions. Yes, and kindly switch on the microphones uh, in, the, in the audience. You know, la last 2012, there was a resolution passed by the United Nations Human Rights Council and demanded the Sri Lankan government to implement the LLRC report. And they are given one year time. Now again, 2013, we came to know that there's going to be another resolution that will be brought by the United States of America. And again, we heard that they are going to give some more time to the Sri Lankan government. 